Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will work with widgets. Means we will create widgets in this tutorial. So guys, if you'll go to the dashboard and appearance, you will see there is no option of the widgets because we haven't created any widget yet. So before creating a widget, I will make a div where we'll, we will place our widgets. So this is our index.php file. As I told you in my previous tutorial, so I will create two div tags. Firstly, I will wrap uh, all the posts in the left side uh, div, and I will place the widgets in the right side div. So I will create two divs firstly. So I'll create div id of left side, or you can give any name. Guys, again, I'm telling you that I'm not in this tutorial series. I am not paying too much attention on the designing. The most important thing is the code which I, we are writing in this tutorial. In this tutorial series means the PHP code which we are using. Because the co uh, code PHP code will be remain same in the every theme. But you can change the CSS. Means CSS can be changed in any theme but the code will be same. So you need to focus on the code. So I'll write end of left side. And I will open the style.css because I need to make some changes means I need to write some CSS in style.css so it is body content so I write body content and inside body content it will be left side I'll give it a float left and I'll give it border right of one pixels solid hash CCC and so I'll place all of these things like all the posts in the left side div so I'll just close it just before the body content so you can see this is the right side uh, right border which we have given with the CSS left side now we will create uh, one more div for the right side means we will place our widgets there so I'll create one more div alright right side alright and of right side so oops. I need to open it again. So this is the div left side. Again I'll create same kind of div and I will give it change its name to right side. And I will give it a float of right and I will specify uh, left side width as well. So I will specify it to 650 pixels in 650 pixels of width for the this uh, left side and I will give uh, the width of I will remove width of three, 300 pixels So I'll give it check it. So I'll give widgets. So you can see we will place our widgets here. So you can you do the styling if you want. So firstly, guys, we will go to to create a widget. A widget. Firstly, we will go to functions.php file. Means uh, I have just created uh, this side uh, div to place the widgets here. But for that, firstly we need to create the widget. Means we need to register a widget for that. After that, we will place it uh, inside this index.php file. So we will go to functions.php file and we will write a function. So I'll write if statement. If function exists, means uh, it will check a function that whether this function is exist or not. And the name of the function is register underscore sidebar means this is a function of WordPress it will check if this function exists in the WordPress then it will then we will it will take the 
next step it will go to the next step means if block will be executed register sidebar you don't need to pay too much attention what this is register sidebar it is just a WordPress function if you have installed the WordPress it will it is it will be exist in your WordPress now we will write if function is this now we will register the sidebar for that we will write register underscore sidebar then brackets then we'll write array and so for array firstly we'll write name and this will be a associative array so we will place it inside single quotes equal to sign and greater than sign and then name of the sidebar which we want to give to it so I'll write write sidebar then comma then the next parameter which you want to give to it so I'll write before title equal to greater than sign then I'll write I want to place uh, before h4 uh, tag before the title then guys you can refer this document for the parameters you can see ID description class before with cat before after with cat before title HTML to place before every title and after that HTML to place after every title means we will use you can use this so uh, it uh, in this uh, in this document you can see it is using h2 tag but we have used h4 tag it depends upon your choice what you want to place before or after the sidebar oh, oh sorry after the title so I'll close the h4 tag after the title and that's it now we will go to the dashboard and refresh it you will see a widget option because we have registered a widget. You can see the right sidebar. In the same way, you can create multiple widgets. You just need to copy and paste it, and you need to give it name of different name like left sidebar, and refresh it. You will see a left sidebar, a right sidebar. It is displaying both of the widgets. So you can place anything, like if you want to place. Uh, recent posts I will place it inside right sidebar and I'll write recent posts save it but it will not it display it here because we have registered a sidebar but we haven't referred it in our index.php file so in order to refer it to the index.php file you need to write PHP tags and in between these two PHP tags we'll write dynamic underscore sidebar brackets and in between these two brackets we will write just the name of the sidebar so I'll write right sidebar refresh it now you can see it is displaying the recent posts Guys, you can see it is not displaying it properly because we haven't set its CSS yet. So in order to uh, make it correct, you need to set the CSS. So you can see, you can inspect the elements. It is inside a right sidebar and a unordered list. It's a list items. So you need to make it correct. So you need to ch uh, adjust its uh, CSS. So list style none you can see it is removed means in this way you need to set uh, the you need to set the uh, styling of uh, these sidebars instead of ul I will use L list items and I will it is a h4 tag so I'll copy it <coughs> h4 I'll color, give it a color of uh, blue and margin top of 
20 pixels. So you can see in this way you can adjust the styling of uh, these sidebar contents. Means in this way you can uh, include as many as bitcats you want. So I just need to press the search here. Search. Reload it. You can see search. Again you need to do the styling of both buttons, labels and text boxes. In this way you can use as many as widgets. So guys in the same way you need to use this widgets in the pages and the single page posts. Like if you go to the services it will display it like this because we have adjusted its CSS in the previous tutorial. So again we go to page.php file and we will use the same div for that. It was a left side. Uh, guys again I'm telling you that I'm not paying too much attention on the on the designing in this tutorial series. body left and we need to change the CSS of single box as well because I think we have uh, with 100% 100% so I'll refresh it now you can see again in the same way in the right side we will place this div in the page.php file after the left body left I'll write right side you can see but guys in the some th in some themes when you will go to some page like I'll go to sample page you will see a option here in the page attributes that if you want to select a left sidebar page suppose I want to give a left sidebar to this services page you can select from here if you want a right sidebar to the page you can select if you want both sidebars on a page you can select or if you don't want any sidebar you want a full width con uh, page you can set it from the page attributes for that we need to do some code for that uh, means we will create some custom templates for that so uh, so we will do this in the next tutorial so this was about that how can you create a uh, sidebar means how can you create a sidebar to use the widgets guys in the next tutorial we will also use this left sidebar means we will use both of these sidebars on a single page so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see the next tutorial